So this is the coding question that I was asked in one of the top product based company. I'll be listing down the mistake that I made at the end of the video. So make sure that you watch till the end. So the problem name is minimum size sub array sum. In this we are given a positive integer nums array. So basically any element here is a positive integer and we are given a target. So we need to find the minimum sub array which has the target or basically the sum of elements is greater than this target. Now there are two approach in solving this for solving this problem. The first one is the naive approach which you should ideally go by when you are starting to present to an interviewer. In the naive approach will be n square where you consider every sub array and you find if the sum is greater than target or not. That is the naive approach. The second approach or the more efficient approach is using two pointer. So here I'm using a right pointer and a left pointer. My right pointer will be adding the element to the sum variable while my left pointer will be subtracting. So I'll start by adding elements. So the sum will be two, five, six, and eight. At any point when my sum is greater than or equal to this target, I'll start removing elements from the, by using the left pointer. So I'll remove this, the two elements. So the sum becomes six. Now at any point when my sum is greater than seven, I'll take the length and I'll find the minimum sub array length in that way. So let's say when I'm up here and my left pointer is here, the sum of these two elements is seven. So this will be the minimum sub array. So I hope you got the jigs of it. And the mistakes that I made is not focusing enough on the time complexity. The interviewer always asks you what is the time complexity and what is the space complexity. So make sure that when you're preparing for your interviews, you put an extra focus on time complexity and space complexities because your interviewer is going to ask you that. So that's it for this video.